Today we will see closing circuit in local mode of a 66kV SF6 circuit breaker wiring diagram. In this given network diagram, we will learn how to read and identify terminal, its terminal block and wiring pair rules. Now let us represent this diagram in a more simplified interconnected way. Here we will only see the closing network path in this video and the remaining part will be covered up in the upcoming next videos. So let us start and closely look at the top left of this network diagram. Always remember three things. First, the numeric digit shown always represents the terminal. Second, the alphabet written closest to the numeric digit with a nod represents the terminal block and last the connecting branch of the network represents the wiring ferrule. From this we can say that DC positive is given on the terminal 1 of the X1 terminal block having a wiring ferrule J1. Now the DC supply is given and the positive current flows like this. Current will stop over here when the fuse is out or not in service. When the fuse is in healthy condition and in service position, the current will flow like this. The current have two path to flow, but the direction of current depends upon which path is selected, which is decided by the selector switch S12. Previously, we have seen that the selector switch S12 is connected in remote mode. Now, let us consider case 2 where the selector switch is connected in local mode. Then, the connection of S12 will be something like this. In local mode, the selector switch is connected to local and the operator performs the close operation where the circuit breaker is actually placed in the switchyard. Then the current will flow in this direction. Current will not flow for the right hand side paths but will flow from the left side if the interlock is in ok condition. Now the current will stop over here if the spring is not charged and if the spring is charged the motor limit switch will be in closed position and the current will flow downwards will flow through auxiliary contacts S1 and closing coil Y1 but will stop at K2 which is a SF6 gas supervision relay. K2 contact will get closed only when the gas pressure in the circuit breaker is greater than 6 bar. When the gas pressure is greater than 6 bar, K2 coil is energized and it changes its contacts that is NO becomes NC and the current will flow through K2 but the current will stop at the fuse if the fuse is melted or not in service condition and will flow through it only when fuse is kept in healthy condition and in service position thus energizing the closing coil Y1 and the circuit breaker closes as soon as the circuit breaker closes, the auxiliary contacts S1 operates and changes its position. That is, all the NO turns to NC and NC to NO. So, the current to the closing coil gets cut and it gets de-energized. Simultaneously energizing K1 anti-pumping relay and the contacts of anti-pumping relay shown here changes its position that is NO contact become NC and NC contact turns to NO forming a closed circuit on the right hand side shown here and prevailing the current after the close operation. So here it completes closing circuit of a 66 kV circuit breaker in local mode. In the next upcoming video, we will see how to read and understand the tripping circuit 
wiring diagram in remote mode. So for more upcoming videos, keep on like, subscribe and share.